Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to create an advanced navigation menu for your WordPress website. So this is the website we are going to add the navigation menu to. Right now we have this default navigation menu for our theme and it is a basic one. We also have the sub menus and that's basically it. But we're going to add an advanced navigation menu for our WordPress website using a plugin. So let's get started. So here I am in the dashboard of my WordPress website. Let me just show you the theme that I'm using. Go to appearance and themes. And here we can see I am using this theme called Astra. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, install the plugin that we want. So we'll go to plugins and uh, click on add new. And we need to search for a plugin called Max Mega Menu. So just search for Max Mega Menu and uh, you'll find this plugin by megamenu.com. So we can see that it has a great star rating and it also has more than 400,000 installations. So let's click on install now. And once the installation is completed, let's click on activate. And our plugin has been activated and uh, here we can see the plugin is activated. And if you scroll down, we can see on the left side, we have this new option called Mega Menu. And in this, we can tweak the settings of our navigation menu. But first of all, let's go ahead and create a new menu. So let's go to Appearance and click on Menus. We can see that we have this menu over here called Main Menu 1. Let's go ahead and create a new menu. So we'll click on this link called Create a New Menu. And let's give it a name. So I'll just type advanced nav menu and then click on create menu. Now, if you want, you can even convert the previous menu to a mega menu, but I'll just create a new one. So here we have this menu. Let's go ahead and uh, add some pages. So we'll go to pages and uh, we'll select these pages over here and add them to the menu. And we'll also add a couple of posts from here. So I'll just select these two posts from here and click on add to menu. All right, so now we have this menu over here. Let's go ahead and uh, click on primary menu. So right now the primary menu is the old menu that we had called main menu one. Let's set this as the primary menu. So I'll just click on primary menu and click on save. And let's go to our website and refresh our page. So now we can see the new menu on our website All right now let's go ahead and convert this to a mega menu so now to convert this to a max mega menu you have to click on this uh, option over here called max mega menu settings and uh, then click on enable and then click on save and uh, let's go ahead and refresh our page and we can see that it has been converted to a mega menu so this is how it looks right now now, first of all, let's make some changes to the styles. And after that, we will add the other elements to this. So we'll go over here to Mega Menu and I will click on Menu Themes. And we need to set the height of this menu to the height of the current container. So right click over here and Inspect. And let's see what is the height of this. So we can see that it has a height of 72 pixels. So let's go ahead and uh, add a height of 72 pixels over here. So I think we have to go to menu bar. So this is the menu height. So let's change this to 72 pixels. And we'll add some more styles over here. So we will add some padding to the left and the right. So here we will type 32 pixels and uh, even for the left 32 pixels. And uh, we can add menu border radius if you want. So I'll just leave it as it is and then you have the option of aligning the menu items. I'll just leave all of them as it is and uh, let's also add some padding to the items. Here for the items we already have a padding of 10 pixels to the right and the left. Let's add some more padding so I'll just change this to 24 and 24. Right now let's click on save. I think it is already being saved. Right, so let's refresh our page and now we can see we have the correct height and we also have the desired padding for the menu and even the menu items. Now let's move on to the advanced part of this mega menu. 
so when we hover over this we need to have some more details over here and uh, we can add a lot of things to this menu using this plugin so let's go back and uh, let's go to appearance and menus now to add different things you can go over here and hover over this uh, menu item and you'll find this option called mega menu just click on that and we have this pop-up and you can select the sub menu display mode we have three display modes over here flyout menu mega menu grid layout and uh, mega menu standard layout let's select grid layout and we can add different things over here so let's go ahead and uh, select something from here I'll just select an image and uh, here you can see the image has been added let's click on this uh, edit button and let's click on add image and we'll add an image from here I'll just select this one right here and click on add to widget and the image has been added let's click on save All right now we can add more things over here so let's click on plus column and we have this new block over here let's go ahead and add something to that so I'll just select event list from here and it has been added to the previous uh, block let's drag it to the second one and now you can see we have the image and then we have the event list over here on the right let's go ahead and refresh our page and see whether it is being displayed so now we can see that we already have this arrow which indicates that there is a sub menu let's hover over that and we can see we have this image over here and on the right we have the list of events and when we hover over this we have this animation you can change the animation in our settings so if we go over here and uh, if I close this and uh, here we can see we have event and after that we have effect so this is the fade up effect we can add slide slide up and all these things and you can even add uh, the speed of the effect and then we have the option of adding the effect to the mobile version so you can go ahead and experiment with these settings now let's move on to the next menu item and uh, here we will click on mega menu and here we'll go ahead and click on the standard layout and here we have the option of adding columns so we'll just add two columns over here and we'll go over here and add some things from here I'll just select an image for this as well so I'll just click on edit add image we'll add this image right here and save it let's add one more element and uh, we'll add the list of categories and we can see the image and the categories are displayed over here now here we can see it says two out of two so it is taking the full space that it has over here so let's click on this button called contract and now we can see it has half the space let's also contract the categories so I'll just click on this button right here now we can see both of them are one next to the other let's add some more elements and uh, here I'll just add a video and click on edit and we'll click on add video and here we have this option called insert from URL so let's click on that and let's add a URL over here so I'll just select a video from live blogger itself and I'll just open one video from here and we'll just get the link so I'll click on share and copy this link from here and uh, let's go back and add the link over here and we can see that the video is being displayed over here let's click on add to widget and the video has been added you can even add a title over here so I'll just type active state for nav menu and uh, let's click on save so now you can see we have the image categories and video let's go ahead and refresh our page and uh, let's hover over this and here we can see we have the image we have the categories and uh, then we have this uh, video over here and you can even play this video hi everybody welcome to live blogger now let's just reduce the size of this video so I'll just go over here and uh, click on contract and uh, let's refresh our page now you can see that the size of the video has reduced we can go ahead and add other things over here on the right now in this video I'm not caring about how things look because uh, I just wanted to show you what things you can add to your mega menu to create such an advanced menu you have to plan first of all how to place these things where to place uh, each of the elements and then you'll be able to create an awesome looking uh, advanced menu 
But for now, I'm just showing you what are the capabilities of this plugin. So you can go ahead and add any of these items from here. And if you want to add a custom design, you can add this uh, option called custom HTML and you can type your HTML code. So here you can add your HTML code and uh, it will be displayed over here. Let me just remove this. You can also change the number of columns from here. So if I select three columns, we can see that we have three items in one row. And if I refresh this page, we can see that the image, the categories and the video are all shown in one row. And then we have the settings over here. And you can go ahead and check out these settings. You can hide the text. You can hide the arrow. So here we have these arrows over here. You can hide them if you want. And you can disable the link and hide the item on mobile or hide the item on desktop and all these options over here. Let's go to icon and uh, here we have the option of adding different icons. This is for the features of our product. So let's add some icon from here. Let's click on this one. And uh, if I refresh this, we can see we have this icon for the features. In the same way we can add icons for the other elements as well. So if I go over here and click on mega menu, you can add icon for this one right here. So now we have the icon for about us and features of our product. Now let's go ahead and take a look at some of the options inside mega menu. So let's go over here and uh, let's go to mega menu and uh, let's click on menu themes. Here you can see some of the options. So you can create themes over here. So this is called default right now. You can change this and you can save your styles as themes and then you will be able to use them whenever you want. And then here we have the option of selecting the style of arrow. So right now the down arrow is like this. You can go ahead and change this to whatever you want from here. And uh, then you can select the line height, the Z index. So it is already set to 999. So it will always be on the top of everything in our web page. And then we have the option of adding shadow. So let's add a shadow for this. And uh, I think we'll add a shadow of four pixels. And for the blur, we will type eight. For the spread, we'll type negative two. And uh, let's save and let's refresh. And we can see that we have a shadow for our navigation menu. Let's change the color and uh, we'll change the opacity to three and select choose and save changes. And uh, now we have a better shadow. Let's take a look at the other options that we have. So let's go to menu bar and here we have the height of the menu. So we had already set that to 72 pixels and then we have the background color of the menu. So you can go ahead and choose any of these. Now here you can use different colors to add linear gradient. So if I add red and black over here and if I save changes, we can see this linear gradient where we have the red color on the top and black at the bottom. Let me just change this back to the black color. Right, then we have the menu padding and border radius. We have checked all of these out and uh, we have the option of choosing the fonts as well and the transform, the weight of the fonts and uh, underline, text align and all these things. You can change uh, the hover effects over here and the item background and uh, these are all basic options over here. Let's go to the next option which is uh, mega menus and here we have the panel background. So if we go over here and uh, when you hover over this, we can see we have the background color for this panel. So you can change the background color of this as well. So let's change this to white. And uh, if I click on this arrow, it will change this color as well. So we have complete white color. And then we have the option of setting the panel width. Right now it is set to 100%. And then the panel padding. So you can set all of these panel border, border radius, column padding. So the padding for each of the columns inside the panel. And uh, then we have the title fonts, padding and all these options over here. Here we have the option for the widgets and here we have the option for the second level menu items and uh, the third level menu items. You can change all of these settings and see how it looks. Let's save this and uh, let's refresh our page. And now we can see we have the white background color for our uh, panel. And let's go to mobile menu and you have the option of 
adding the responsive breakpoint. Now when the width of the browser is less than this size over here, it will be considered as the mobile version. And uh, you can go ahead and take a look at all these options over here. There are a lot of things you can customize in uh, this plugin. And then lastly, we have the option of adding custom CSS. So we have some uh, instructions over here. For the wrapper, you can use this selector over here and add some CSS. So if you know some CSS, you can go ahead and customize this uh, to your heart's content. And then for the menu, you can add this selector. So just go ahead and take a look at this and uh, you'll be able to add your CSS over here. Now you can even directly add sub menus to this uh, navigation menu from your menus inside appearance. So if I go over here to appearance and click on menus and if I want to make this as a sub menu of the sample page, I just have to drag this over here to the right and then click on save and let's refresh our page. And now we can see that under sample page, we have review of the product as uh, the sub menu. So that's basically it with the Max Mega Menu plugin in WordPress. So you can go ahead and create advanced menus and add different types of items to your navigation menu using this plugin. So that's basically it for this video. I hope that you found this useful. And if you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.